All right, well, you killed the wolf. You can skin the wolf. You're not gonna be naked anymore, my friend. You and a bear, is that a black bear? You fight that. You wanna fight it like a mugger. Kick it in the private areas. Oh, stuff. As a conservationist, I hate trash, but in a survival situation, trash is your friend. I'm King of Phillips. I'm a wilderness, outdoor, and survival expert. I have been in the great outdoors since I was a wee little kid. Most of the programs that I do on TV are adventure, travel, history, anthropology, so basically hang out in the woods a lot. So I'm about to review the survival game Rust, which sounds a lot like the gameplay version of Naked and Afraid. Show up naked on an island, you gotta survive. Lots of ways to die, lots of ways to live. Let's see what happens. Well, this is pretty. Oh, oh, there's a naked man. I'm guessing that's me, I'm the naked man. I'm a naked man with a rock who is taking out a tree with an X on it. All right, so naked man is on an island and decided that the first thing he needs to do is to make himself some shelter. Maybe he sees a storm coming. Again, you know, in a survival situation, you want water, you want food, you want shelter, you wanna be able to signal, but it kind of in whatever order, it makes sense. So maybe there is a hurricane coming and dude is like, I need to build myself a shelter for my very naked body right now. Looks like there's a lot of stuff on the bottom there telling you your hunger, your water intake. Not sure what all the rock pounding is for. Oh, he's gonna build himself some tools. Tools are good, tools are great. We like tools. We've got a, he's got rocks, he's got sticks. He's taking his inventory. This is good, you wanna know what you have. Oh, look at that! Built himself like a little hammer ax. And he's gonna take it out into the ocean. Now, shallows in an ocean like this are great in a survival situation because you're gonna have fish, you're gonna have seaweed, you wanna cook everything, you can have mollusks, maybe you can find yourself an octopus. Depending on where you are, you wanna be careful, you don't wanna stuff on a scorpion fish. Oh, stuff! This, take all the stuff you can get, floating debris. Now, as a conservationist, I hate trash, but in a survival situation, trash is your friend. You've got boards, great. Gather everything you can, because you never know what you're gonna need. Those tins are great. You can use those as a water stills at some point, or you can just smash them to bits. Really, it's up to you. He's got arrows, he's got flaming arrows. We've got fire, we've got a hammer, we've got an ax. Pretty well set up. Still naked though. This is probably the third tree that he's cut down. He's gonna build himself one hell of a shelter. Uh, that is a horse with a saddle. <laughs> Never found a random horse with a saddle in a survival situation. Oh, he is galloping and he's probably still naked. Oh, good Lord, the chafing. Not really sure what's going on with all the rock pounding there. Unless he has aggression issues, which a deserted island is really a perfect place to get that out. <laughs> Oh, there's a, one of those beach elk. Now that is good eating. You can jerky that meat, you can smoke that meat. We've got a herd of beach boar and a beach elk. This is very ambitious. And by the way, boars like that have very sharp tusks. That thing will F you up so fast. I personally would not mess with them. I told you you're wounded, see? Now you're sleeping, you're probably dead. There's the naked man again, still naked, hunting boar while naked. Pixelation is uh, not hiding much, I gotta say. I mean, it does look pretty overcast there, but you're gonna want to have some protection from the elements, whether it's cold, whether it's hot. Humans are so fragile. They're so fragile inside and out. These hairless little creatures, we need protection from the elements. Get yourself some clothing, buddy. Found himself a stream, this is great. You've got fresh water. Still gonna wanna boil it for about 10 minutes. Kill all the parasites and bacteria. What is that in the background? Not the wolf, behind the wolf. Is that a... Lighthouse? Oh, a wolf. So he clubbed the wolf with a rock. Hand-to-hand -hand combat with a wolf. Now, wolves don't usually go after people. They're not really something I would concern myself with, but they're wild animals. You never know. Got the wolf with a bad attitude. Oh, a bear. Okay, you and a bear with a rock. Is that a black bear? You fight that. Is that a grizzly? You play dead. Put your hand up like that. Just flip over. Spread your legs out so it can't flip you because these are the soft bits. This is what the bear's gonna take. Let's talk about bears. There are different kinds of bears and you respond differently to different kinds of bears. Really, most black bears aren't gonna attack you or charge you unless you surprise them or they're protecting their cubs. Now, if one does charge you, you're probably gonna wanna fight that bear. You're not gonna wanna climb a tree because it's gonna go right up after you. What they say with black bears, you wanna fight it like a mugger. Kick it in the private areas. Grizzly bear. 
that thing is gonna F you up. So you're not gonna wanna fight it because you're just not gonna win. You wanna lay down flat, you wanna protect your head, you wanna protect all the soft bits, so lay on your stomach, spread out your legs so that it can't flip you over because it's gonna try. Now, if you start to realize that this bear is looking at you as lunch and it's not just a defensive attack, it's not protecting its space, its food source, or its cubs, and it is actively trying to hunt you and eat you, you are gonna have to fight that bear because otherwise you're gonna die. Good luck with that. Polar bear, you're screwed. Just, you know what, just be like, pour some salt on yourself and season yourself well for the bear. What you don't ever want to do when you come across a wild animal, any type of wild animal like that, especially an apex predator, is turn your back on them and run because you're gonna kick in that animal's instincts to chase you even if it wanted nothing to do with you. It's gonna be like, it's running, I gotta kill it now. Look at it, talk to it. Hey bear, I'm a human, you don't wanna eat me, we're not that tasty, pretty bony over here, go, go after the big elk and you wanna back up slowly and then you wanna just get the heck out of there. There's another vicious wolf. What is this island? All right, well, you killed the wolf. You can skin the wolf. You're not gonna be naked anymore, my friend. He's dead. He's dead. I'm pretty sure that there's not been a recorded wolf attack by a healthy animal in North America in like 150 years. This guy's been attacked three times. Overachiever. Well, this is amazing. You're on a deserted island and you just found a warehouse. I mean, who knows what you're gonna find in there as long as it's not the Ark of the Covenant and doesn't melt your face off, you're golden because whatever's in there, you're gonna use. Plus you have shelter, Insta shelter. Pants, yes, pants. They're really nice pants. Hunting the elusive wild chicken. Are we in Hawaii? Because that is where I've seen wild domesticated chickens. Now, I love wildlife and animals, and I'm always seeking them. To end up on an island like that and immediately see boar and elk, wolves, a wild domesticated chicken, and a horse with a saddle on it, I'm blown away. I mean, I think the closest I've come to something like that is in Alaska, which is a nature wonderland, and you land and there's bald eagles and bears and you're shooting porcupines across the road. I'm guessing that this is the Pacific Northwest somewhere. If you've got timber wolves, which those look like they were, it's where you're gonna find the elk, uh, the boar. Could be Hawaii again. Guessing it could be with the chickens, although it's not really a Hawaiian-esque environment, but it's pretty. Horse with a saddle, where those run around wild, I just don't know. Wow, fancy, look at this. You've got lashing, you've got foundation. You wanna keep yourself off the ground. This is smart thinking, very ambitious on his part, but you don't wanna sleep on the ground. The earth's gonna get cold, suck your heat away. There's snakes, there's scorpions, there's bugs. You don't wanna deal with bug bites. Built himself a doorway. This is fancy. I'm out there building lean-tos from ferns and this guy is like, welcome to my three-story pimp house. Okay, he's got a fire going inside of his house on what looks like grass. That's probably not gonna last very long. You are going to burn down that really fancy shelter. Obviously, this is a great climate because if it was cold, you'd want a smaller shelter so that your body heat can keep it warm. But this guy's like, nah, I only do three bedrooms or more. Oh. Guy's got a musical instrument? Did he whittle that or did he find that? Probably a good time to talk about your mental attitude during survival. You do wanna keep yourself happy and positive. Think about your family, play some music with an instrument you whittled, look at the stars, really just enjoy yourself out there. As a matter of fact, there are a lot of people who have come back from near death survival situations and they said that looking at the beauty around them is what kept them alive. Those are the things you need to appreciate. Appreciate a little morning gallop on your steed while out looking for food and water and avoiding killer wolves. All right guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun, I did. That was Rust, a multiplayer survival game. Super fun, lots of surprises there. Naked guy waking up on an island. That's fun. And for more fun videos and surprises, check out Gameology on Facebook and YouTube. I mean, you have any ideas? The, the standard Sears. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah not like the That's <laughs> Let's talk about math and politics. I, my eyes would just cross and I would drool.